Hello everyone, welcome to Pumpkin Horror. Now we did a little bit of shopping based on Halloween today and I want to show you some of the stuff that I got in. And the very last one I'm going to show you is a mask, but it will be the last thing I show you. But I want to show you what we got from various stores that we went shopping today. As you can see this sign here, in my opinion, really stands out. It's got a very Halloween feel to it. Uh, the witches, as well as the crow, pumpkins, everything about it just uh, speaks Halloween and stuff like that. And the color scheme and everything really does stand out. So that is one of the main reasons I end up picking this up. I believe we got this from the Christmas tree shop. I'm pretty sure that's where we got it from. Anyway, this is a sign that I'm going to hang up in my room. Amongst the other signs that I have, I do have a lot of them in the room. But anyway, this is my Halloween sign, which really does stand out. And it does spell out Halloween for the most part, okay? Anyway, that's my sign. Okay. I'm going to show you what it looks like in the back. As you can see, it is $5.99. And we, yes, we did get it from the Christmas tree shop. Okay? All right. All right. Putting that off to the side, I'm going to show you some of the flag slash banners that we have. We end up picking up garden flags. All right, now I'm gonna somehow pull this back. I don't know if you can actually see it. Hang on, gotta get the camera angles right. All right, well, you get the idea what it is. Okay, it starts with the pumpkins all the way up to a, a full moon, okay? And it's got other things in the background. These are very cool. We got these as well from the Christmas tree shop. All right. Here is another one. It says Happy Halloween. Okay. It's got a witch up on the very top. All right. Now towards the back here, it's pretty much the same except it's backwards. As you can see, the words are backwards. All right. Now moving on to the next flag, which is the Grim Reaper. This thing is really cool. The pumpkins really do stand out. The Reaper with the crow on top. It's very cool looking. All right. These are called garden flags. You get them from the Christmas tree shop. If you have one in your area, check them out. Okay, now this here, black pumpkins along with some cemetery crosses. And you got a crow. And you got some bats in the background from a full moon. All right. Well, that's it on the garden flags. There's a total of four of them. And now I'm going to show you these here. They're not turned on. I don't think I'm going to plug them in, but they are purple lights. Actually, they're not purple lights. I originally picked up the purple lights, came across these. These are, in fact, triple colored lights that I will be, as you can see, I'm going to wrap them around my bookcase that has all my masks. Uh, it should look really cool once I get them lit up, but i got to pin them off first. But anyway, it does come with three different colors. it got the lime green, orange, as well as the purple. Very traditional Halloween colors. I had these here. I don't know if it's the same brand or not, but I had like three or four sets on my black Christmas tree a few years ago when I first started my Halloween Christmas trees. But uh, I've since changed over to an orange Christmas tree and it's already pre-lit, so I don't have to worry about it too much there. But anyway, these are the triple colored lights that comes with it. And these are only at the Christmas tree shop if you ever want to pick these lights up. Four bucks, okay, can't go wrong. They're cheap enough. Especially if, you, if you're just going to use them for simple applications, like leaving them on your shelf and stuff. But anyway, those are my lights. This next thing here I saw at, I think, hang on, let me check it out here. Home Goods. Home Goods, yes, Home Goods. All right, is my coffee mug. I love the color, obviously the Halloween aesthetic to it. Okay, it's very Halloween-y. 
Now, as you can see, home goods. If you got a home goods in your area, get your butt in the store and grab one of these coffee mugs. They got some cool coffee mugs there. I got and this witches. for and witches. I got a bunch of witches in there too. Thank you, Dabby. All right. Now, last but not least, I'm going to show you this and turn the camera around so you can see what it looks like. This is something I picked up at Party City. I have an orange one sitting in uh, on my wall right now. It's you know it's very similar in structure to this one here that you're seeing now. What you will be seeing pretty soon here once I get it set up. So I'm putting it on right now, guys. Okay, and right, I'm going to turn the camera around so you can actually see what it looks like. Okay, let's just turn this around so I can see what I ain't doing. There we go. Okay, this seems a little crooked. There we go. Okay, now with that in mind, I gotta raise this up, so hold on. There we go. There we go, guys. Alright, this mask here I got for like $36, I think it was. It's not a full mask, okay? As you can see, I'm half my head's shaved, okay? But it is very similar to the pumpkin one that I got. The mouth does move up and down, which I'm going to show you now. I, 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 I. Anyway, long story short, it's got a sponge feel to the face. All right, It's a very comfortable mask to wear. It does come with some padding, but I decided not to put it on simply because I'm probably not even going to wear this outside or anything like that. But maybe on a rare occasion, but for right now... I'm wearing it. It's really comfortable, okay? I, I got no problem with it. Even though it's, it's a hard plastic, it's not hurting my face or nothing. It's really comfortable. And as you can see, I'm kind of talking to you guys right now. And here's my hair. Okay? I'm like Kane. No, just kidding. That's another thing I like to get a hold of. Is an actual uh, Kane mask from uh, WWE. Those masks are really, really cool. Not the newer ones. But one of the, the uh, original, when he first uh, came onto the scene, those masks with the full mouthpiece, they're very cool looking. But eventually they got rid of that, and he went with the open mouth type mask. After one, then, you know, obviously you know the story. But anyway, this is the last part of this Halloween uh, haul that I have here. And this particular clown mask, I, I always liked it. I've seen it on Amazon. As well as Party City, but I never bothered to get it. But when I seen it in the store, I said I gotta get it. So, yeah. Alright, this is it guys. If this is Pumpkin Horror, don't forget to like and subscribe. And hit that notification bell because I will be pushing out some more videos. Real soon, real soon, okay. Hope you guys like this. Okay, have a good day. Alright, where is that button? Right, there.